Hey kids, today we're talking about friends. This sounds like an easy one. You have friends right here. Turn around and look at your friends next to you. Then think of some friends you have who might not be here, like friends from school or maybe friends who live in your neighborhood. Now, I want you to think of all the fun things that you love to do with your friends, like playing games, watching movies, or going to the park. Having friends to do fun things is always so much fun, but friendships also take hard work. You talk with each other, always tell the truth, and you're there for each other. So today, we're learning, I will be a friend. Let's say it together. I will be a friend. We can share God with our friends too. God wants us to talk about Him with our friends. If they are having a hard time with something, they can trust us when we tell them that we put our faith in God to help us get through those hard times. There are a lot of examples of how to be a good friend in the Bible. Let's read a story about two friends who are looking out for each other. We can read this in the Bible in 1 Samuel 18 verses 1 through 9 and 19 verses 1 through 17. That's in the Old Testament of the Bible. Let's read. After David had finished talking with Saul, he met Jonathan, the king's son. There was an immediate bond between them, for Jonathan loved David. Jonathan and David became best friends so quickly. There was a problem though. Jonathan's dad was Saul, and Saul was jealous of David because the people said he was a better warrior. Saul was very worried that they would crown his son's friend as king instead of him. Saul eventually became so jealous that he planned to kill David. David was very worried about this because he guessed Saul's plans. But when David confronted Jonathan about it, Jonathan told him that he didn't think his dad would do that. That's not true, Jonathan protested. You're not going to die. He always tells me everything he's going to do, even the little things. I know my father wouldn't hide something like this from me. It just isn't so. The next day, Jonathan found out the awful truth that David was right because his father admitted his plans to him. Jonathan was so sad, but he knew what he had to do. He sent David away so that he would be safe from Saul. Jonathan was sad that his friend had to leave, but he knew that even though it was hard, it was the best thing he could do for his friend. This story shows us that friendships aren't always easy. You need to put your friend's needs before your own and take care of each other like family. After all, we are all family in Christ. Making tough decisions to make sure that everyone is taken care of is important. It was very hard for Jonathan to send David away, but he knew he had to. This week, I want you to think about the friend in your life and what they do for you, whether that is helping you with your homework, giving you rides to school, or sharing snacks with you. Think about what you do and can do for them as well so that you can be the best friend that you can be too. Take the step to invest more time into your friendships and put God in the center of them. I will be a friend. Let's say that together. I will be a friend. Before we end today, let's practice our memory verse and pray. Don't just pretend to love others. Really love them. Hate what is wrong. Hold tightly to what is good. Romans 12, 9. Let's say it one more time. Don't just pretend to love others. Really love them. Hate what is wrong. Hold tightly to what is good. Romans 12, 9. Let's pray. Dear God, thank you for sending Jesus to be our friend forever. We ask that you would help us be good friends to others and help us share your love. In Jesus' name, amen.